Here are a couple of facts about Christ Mass that you don't know. Fact number one. The term Christ Mass, Christmas, is derived from two different words. First word, Christ, which means Messiah or anointed one. Second one, Mass, which is a Latin term for the word Missa, which means dismissal. So little do you know, when you say Merry Christmas, you're actually saying Happy Dismissal of Christ. Here's another fun fact. The uh, actual Christmas celebration as a whole was not celebrated in the United States until about the late 1800s. Here's another fact. During the time where they did approve Christmas and prior to that, different parishes and different government systems actually allowed you to sell black people as slaves as a Christmas gift. When you do a Google search on the word Old Nick, as in Old St. Nicholas, the word Old Nick in the old definitions actually means the devil, your Old Nick. The biblical Hebrews never celebrated birthdays, so Jesus never celebrated his birthday. Santa Claus, reindeer, and December 25th are not in the Bible. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1 through 5, God actually condemns people worshiping trees and decorating it with silver and gold. In places like the Netherlands, um, the elves that we see here in America were actually black slaves. You could do a Google search on it. It was Santa Claus and Swarte Piet, which is Black Pete. When you actually read the Bible, which most people don't, you'll find that Jesus Christ himself as a child went into the temple during the time of his birthday when he was 12 years old, which was right around the time of the Passover. The Passover is actually in spring, which is March or April and not December. Just more proof that uh, Christ Mass has nothing to do with the Jesus of the Bible. You have Satanists, atheists, Buddhists, Muslim and other world religions and ideologies that actually celebrate Christ's Mass. As a matter of fact, one of the highest religious days in the Church of Satan is Christ's Mass Day as well as one's birthday. Hmm, figure that. With all that being said, why would any Bible believer actually do the opposite of what the Bible says? The Bible says you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So I hope you know the truth about this information. Please do share if you want, because the truth does not fear investigation.